Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to the stream. Is the camera that looks about right? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Um, so that was uh, just some more Cleofa. Uh, but the special um, equipment today that I'm going to use for this stream is down here. And I hope I can lift it into the camera's view. Yes. Um, so this is a thing that Leah left for me here after last week because she didn't need it for a week and I can play with it, which is a loop pedal or it's called a loop station here. And what I can do is basically with my foot um, control, if I want a certain um, part of the audio that I'm playing right now to uh, loop or not, so I can kind of uh, layer multiple sounds on top of each other or uh, kind of, uh, so what I want to try to do is accompany myself. Um, so uh, let's just experiment a bit with how it works. So I think if I press the um, pedal down once, then it starts recording. And I pr tapped it once more, and now it's just playing that back. But I think it's also still recording. So if I add something we're going to hear it again yep okay so now it's just so now it's just adding those songs again and again and I can stop it I think with a double tap so let's see what happens if I tap it once more I think now it's just playing and um, I think now it's not recording anymore yes okay so let's stop it with a double tap. Um, and then I just hold it down for two seconds and it resets apparently. And it plays for those two seconds, but then now it's gone. So now I can kind of try to... Hello, Leah, in the chat. Um, I can kind of try to um, record a basic kind of um, baseline accompaniment and then try to improvise over it. So I will just try that. Let's start with a simple um, four measure chord progression, I guess. This is this is not working out quite as well as I hoped. Um, yes, <laughs> directly with some breaks in the first sample. It, I'm starting to notice that that's not such a good idea. I think um, so. Either I can get a lot better at holding a rhythm and also pressing the mic at exactly the right time. And I'm not sure which was more the problem here. Or I can cheat and mix a metronome into my headphones and then. Uh, whatever problem remains is definitely just putting the foot down at the exactly <laughs> right time. Or alternatively, uh, let's first just try something without a break and where I can hear all the time if I'm still in sync with the accompaniment or not, because that was really not working all that well. Sorry, I need to turn out the uh, volume first before I move the microphone around, so otherwise you hear me slapping it against everything.
Okay, that worked a lot better. <laughs> Yay. Um, so, do I just do the exact same thing again with another chord progression? Or do I want to try the metronome thing? Or, I'm not sure what else I can do with this uh, loop station. Um, or I can just play without it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, th this was mainly the thing I wanted to try out, and I'm very happy with uh, how well it worked. Um, so now I'm uh, basically my goal for this stream is done, uh, and I feel like just doing that for the whole hour would be kind of um, weird. Two layers of recording. Um, so what would the two layers be? Um, so would that be? The I don't know. I, f I feel like it already got a bit crowded around this area of the keyboard, and that then I couldn't really play very much there. Um, uh, I don't really have a good bass voice here. I think that there's basically this these six no five voice types. There's the grand piano one. There's the number two, which is kind of just brighter. Then there's an electric piano. And then there's a harpsichord. And then there's strings. And I don't really have... Um, so I can combine up to two of them. So I can do like electric piano and harpsichord, which is... Or... Um, what else sounds okay? The grand piano and strings is kind of... So this is going to be loud. Let me just turn this down. But if I then just layer all of this with the piano held... With the pedal held down, it's kind of... kind of like almost like a church organ but it's just piano and strings and it's way too loud probably for anything uh, sorry if that was uh, overly distorted in the audio um, but nothing really here that m lends itself to a good bass I think um, so the electric piano is a lot better for chords I think and not so much for a walking bass or let me see Sure. Um, or I can do the bass with the piano and then separately add the chords with this. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I really are doing it that way around E piano for chords and grand piano for the walking bass. I can try that. And then the solo could be, I feel like this one, so you hear it a bit more. Um, so that's the kind of brighter one compared to this one. Yeah, I think that one might be more for solos, but I... Um, yeah, I think I can try that. Um, yeah, let's just uh, see how far I get with that. I didn't really think about which chords I wanted to do, just another blues progression or something else. Uh, I think kind of basic blues work pretty well, just still in B flat major or something else. Um, I could also do it in F. Now 
that's too high. Or some really exotic thing like, I don't know, D flat major. That just kind of reminds me of Woodchopper's Ball. <laughs> nah. um, let's try F. Nah, I think I messed up the timing on the ending. Let's uh, listen into it, but I think I did the tap too late. I'm also not happy with it in general. And I need to figure out how I start recording again. It's just another tap, right? Yeah, that's too much of a break. Uh, but if I want to record now again, it would be... Okay, so I know that. Um, okay, it's deleted. Let's try again. Damn it, I've tapped the wrong number of times, sorry. Uh, reset again. Tempo feels really unsteady. But, uh, let's try.
stop recording and now this should keep going and it's kind of unsteady but I think I can live with it so let's try improvising over it.
Okay. Um, I think I'm kind of uh, running out of ideas for improvising over the blue scheme, so I definitely need a different chord progression now. Um, and I'm not going to say what it was for copyright reasons, but I don't. I'm just curious if anyone recognized this part. Well, never mind. Uh, I don't know. Um, could try a minor key chord progression, something. Uh, I have one idea from the real book in mind, um, which would be, uh, no, not in the mood. Also, that's just a blue scheme, I'm pretty sure. Uh, where is it? No? Well, I know it's in there. Is it sorted differently? Are all the eyes? I think we're yeah. There, there. Um, okay. Uh, which one is the solo part of this? Does send you until here? I guess. Yeah, uh, let's just steal the chords from this and not play the melody and then hopefully YouTube won't recognize it. Let's see. Accelerated quite a bit, didn't I? Too bad.
All right, that was an improvisation over the chord progression of I Remember Clifford, uh, with bits of the real melody uh, in there as well, um, which is just um, a very nice uh, piece, I think, uh, with a very sad story behind it, which is that uh, this um, young star trumpet player Clifford Brown um, in his 20s, I believe, and that was in the 1950s or 60s, I don't know. Uh, anyways, so he, he was pretty young and a very promising um, trumpet player, and then he died in a car accident, sadly. And apparently the story goes that uh, the composer of this piece, Benny Goldson, uh, learned of the news on stage during a concert, and then he uh, spontaneously did this uh, piece as an improvisation, as a tribute to him um, in a completely different piece where it didn't fit at all. I'm not sure how that worked out practically, but it was definitely a beautiful tribute and then the piece um, came to be that way, I suppose, and it's a very uh, nice thing in general and I quite like to play it. Uh, yeah, I don't really have enough chat viewers in general to take ideas from them um, uh, or take a diverse set of suggestions from them. I, I don't know. Uh, trying to phrase this in a way that doesn't insult the one person I do have in chat. Um, anyways. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to try the other one with a metronome. Just depends if I can do the wiring quickly enough. Where did I put that thing? Is it here? No. Uh, oh dear, you can see all that mess. Where did I put my metronome? Oh, right, it's back there. I think I can do that just a second. Okay, I think I have it set up now. So now the metronome goes along with the phone's output of the um, big mixer into the small pocket mixer. And then the pocket mixer goes into my headphones, so the metronome is just in my headphones and not in the stream, hopefully. Now let's just try that out. You should not be able to hear anything here. Uh, anything special? I'm not seeing anything in OBS at least, which is good. Um, yeah, it's just weird that, um, so I have, so f for this connection I need um, to go from this uh, big 6 point something millimeter to the small 3 point something millimeter uh, phone jack. And for some reason if I use this cable, which has exactly those two ends, um, I only hear stuff on my left ear. Uh, it somehow disturbs the stereo and if I actually use um, an adapter with um, cable that has the same thing on both ends, th then it works. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, so let's 
Um, so I wanted to try this other, um, no, you can't hear that, great. Uh, so I wanted to try this other chord progression, which was, um, right, that's the kind of, which is also kind of the one, uh, the kind of Monty Python interval music, which is, Anyways, never mind. Um, I think that's just going to be piano on both sides, so. But a bit slower than that, let's see. bit too fast. Let's, so that was 75. Let's go down to 72. Yeah, I think that works. Uh, so let me just reset the pedal. Okay. And then... Yeah, I think piano one for the background and piano two for the uh, solo. Let me just mix that a bit in favor. Well, I think that's actually fine. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. They're getting out of sync. <laughs> That's a problem I did not stop anticipate. So if I don't put down my foot at exactly the right time and the loop is slightly too long or slightly too short, I think in this case it was slightly too long and it'll start to get out of sync with the metronome. And because, because the metronome is an instrument over there and not something in my head, I can, can't just uh, fix that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess the other way to look at this is I now have a recording in the pedal that's definitely right with rec or very, very close to right with regards to metronome. And if I just let that play without a metronome, then I still have something that's at least in itself consistent. And unlike the I remember Clifford doesn't get faster over the course of the recording. Uh, so let's just try for that. And yeah, the metronome didn't work out as well as I thought it would.
the end didn't work so well, partly due to uh, misusing the loop pedal, partly just because I didn't know what I was doing. But um, yeah, kind of monotonous after a while. Um, I probably overstretched it, but uh, worked quite well in general, I think. Um, yeah, I think this might actually be useful as training. I feel like if I record a good loop um, that actually matches a metronome, so I know it's correct, uh, with a break in it, and then I tr play over it and have to uh, hit the end of the break, and then over time I ought to get better at that. Um, because I feel like here I it worked a lot, and it was slightly off a lot as well. So that might be just something I could train with uh, such a loop pedal. Uh, of course, I'm not going to have this one, because that's not mine, that's Leah's. Uh, but I think after how much fun I ha I've had with this stream, I pretty much have to buy one of my own, I suspect. Um, just to add to this uh, growing pile of equipment here, uh, I guess. But uh, I've been streaming for over an hour, even subtracting the setup time in the beginning, I think. So I guess I will uh, wrap it up here and say goodbye to the one viewer I still have. Uh, goodbye, Lea. <laughs> and uh, goodbye anyone who's watching the recording, I guess, if I upload it or something. Um, yeah, this was... Uh, great. I definitely want to do that again, which probably means I need to buy that mic, uh, that um, pedal. Quite possibly, possibly also a better microphone than this one, um, but uh, that's getting ahead of myself. Uh, anyways, have a very nice rest of the evening, and yeah, see you. Bye.